How's it going everyone? Foxy Carnage here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Valor. I do believe it is this time where we will, for real, face the dragon and finally end chapter one. And where we go from there, I really don't know. So, without further ado, let's just get on with it, shall we? Into the catacombs we go. This is probably where the dragon is hiding. Or this is how we get to the dragon, I don't know. Yeah, actually, based on that music alone, this is probably where we will face the dragon eventually, because... We took out Rymoon, and we... We got rid of Volov, but we didn't kill him. He still survived at the end of that fight. I gotta... Sometimes I keep forgetting the mic is just a little too close to my mouth. And I don't know what that is. It's just something that we can, uh... Something that we can, uh... I don't know. That's just something in the foreground, I guess. Or the background. And occasionally, now, we have these block puzzles where occasionally... Where what you need to do is you have to hold square. And you can't... Un Sadly, like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, you cannot pull them left and right. You can only pull them forward and backwards, like so. But, uh, we already have that block where we want it, so I'm going to go through the door here. And there doesn't seem to be anything of significance in here. It's a pretty small room. Ah, but it leads downstairs. And, actually, I don't know about you, but... This soundtrack that's playing right now is kind of giving me a little bit of a chill. Just a little bit. Oh. And of course, the dragon. Uh, not the dragons, the skeletons. Like, seriously, if this... Oh, God. Oh, God. I Okay, I didn't know Clovis could do that. Ouch. I didn't know Clovis could just backflip like that. I didn't even make him do that. Uh, but... Those skeletons? They are definitely making me think of the Stalfos from Legend of Zelda. But again, it's like saying that, in a way, the original Dragon Buster was kind of like a clone to Zelda 2. Because it was. And we increased, uh, our health meter. Which means we can, uh get more health, which is also nice. Gotta get some more magic, because I need that, for real. There's a pendant. I don't remember what that does. I think somebody said at one point in what playthrough I may or may not have seen... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh... Uh, that uh, certain items you collect do certain things for experience purposes. I don't know what does what though. And those character, those things with the hoods that come up, I would just avoid them because sadly I don't think you can hurt them. But yeah, this is the final stretch. Uh, let me just see what's around here. I think that's health. All right, and that is the way to the dragon, I believe. And what is in here? Oh, it's a ring. Okay. So, that that's good. It, it's just a ring. Probably does something, but I don't know what. Uh, let's see now. Okay, I don't want that. So, that means that this block is on another switch. So, let's go ahead and push it. There we go. What about now? Okay. So, if it's just the left switch, the left gate will open. And if both switches are pressed upon, then the middle gate will open. That's fine. Oh, there's a tome here. No, lithograph, sorry, which increases MP. And I will take that potion, speaking of which, same with the health potion, because I need that. I mean, yes, I know, I just realized I have a healing spell, but I just didn't feel like using it. Because it costs MP. 
See? There's ne for me, there's never going to be a shortage of references to Zelda 2, because... Oh, and I do believe we're heading to another boss fight already. We're only like five minutes in, and we're already heading to the next boss fight. Oh, but of course. Like I said, we didn't uh, kill him last time. You beat me last time with your sneaky tricks, but it won't happen again. Out of my way, idiot. I haven't the time to waste on fools. I should really be careful when I say that. I spray it everywhere. Why, you? Don't think you're invincible just because you beat Raimun. Behold, the dragon's power has created a new and improved Volef. I'll give you a knife, fool! Also, last time he was wearing purple armor, and now he's wearing yellow armor. So you did know about the dragon. My superior intellect beat you last time, and now for my physical prowess. Jeez, here we go again. Yeah, Clovis is just done with your shit. Okay, so... New and improved Volif. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve now. Be careful when he does that spinning attack. That spinning charge attack. Because it can hurt you no matter where you are. And, uh... That bolt of electricity he shoots at you from afar. Make sure you are moving when he does that. Because you'll, it'll be less likely, to, less likely to hurt you that way. Oh, God. Best time to attack him usually is when he tires himself out. You can tell by the animations of the character models when they uh, when he tires out. The most you can get is, of course, three hits, and then he starts doing that spin attack. And I think that's the first time I've seen that. I'm actually curious because I this is something that I got last time. I actually want to see how that works, because it said that it increases the range of the sword. And I'm on the verge of dying. Okay, that does a little better. Okay, but for real this time, I think I will choose the healing spell because I kind of need it. Again, I somehow, I guess, I made Clovis do that backflip just now, but I don't know how he does it. I don't quite know how that even works. But uh, we got another tome for beating <clears throat> uh, Volof a second time. We got Stealth Magic, level 1. I think it, it said it basically uh, turns us invincible, invisible for a short amount of time, I guess. But this can't be. This calls for my backup plan. Ah! My head! My head! I am sorry, Dragon. Please! Huh? Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to say anything during the ellipses. Oops. He's eating it up! Run, Volev! Run! That's what he would sound like, I would think, if he's in pain. Oh, jeez, not again. So, it's straight ahead. <gasps> you freak! Oh, oh, uh, I mean, Lord Dragon. Please give me your power. I promise this time I'll get rid of the punk. 
Enough. You're useless. And you will die. This text is slower than molasses. N no! Wait! I swear this time I'll... Yeah, he did. Oh, oh great. Now I gotta do this voice for the dragon now. So you've come, Dragon Valor. So the mighty dragon hides beneath a musty crypt? Ha! <laughs> I'll make it your tomb. This is for you, Elena. This time I'll destroy him completely. Again, Clovis! If I didn't make it clear in the prologue... Uh, this dragon is not the same one you fought. The one you fought, like, uh... Five years ago, according to the game, he's dead. And this was his offspring. The dragon had a baby. And also, this dragon's name is Titan. And he's not like Rage in uh, the prologue. He has his own set of moves. Be careful, especially with the uh, fireball attack that he does there. Because if you're not careful enough, he will hurt you. And another thing to watch out for, of course, is that damn shockwave attack. It really sucks when you get hurt by it. And you also gotta make sure Titan doesn't pounce on you. And that was the last of my, uh, that was more than enough, uh, uh, MP for, uh, the healing spell. At this point, I would like to recommend uh, every now and again using the dash maneuver because of when uh, Titan pounces you, which he will do on occasion. And now he's backing up away from me. I don't know why. Oh, shockwave. Oh, and he's standing on his... Oh, God. He's standing on his hind legs. So far, I think this may be the shortest uh, video in the Let's Play so far. Oh, God. Take that, you jerk. Oh, shockwave. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Jesus, help me. Come on. Oh no. Avoid the shockwave. Alright, I think I'm seeing a pattern. When he blinks, that basically means you can't hurt him. Or like when he's blinking before he doesn't attack, I don't think you can hurt him. But when he's not blinking, I think that's when he leaves himself open. That's what I'm seeing here. I don't know if that's completely true. And again, we've got to watch out for that fireball attack that he does. And occasionally he will try to swipe at you with his claws. Okay, he does a new fireball attack. I didn't know he does that. But then again, it's been a long time since I played this game last. Or a little while. It hasn't been that long since I played it, but it has been a little while. Oh boy, this is not good. This is not good. I am on the verge of death. Oh god. This is going to be so embarrassing if I die to this dragon. Oh, nope, nope. I'm still in it for a little bit. Oh Jesus. Run, Clovis, run! I'm 
waiting for him to do his fireball attack so that I can dodge it. Oh, come on now. Woo! Please don't kill me. Uh, he killed me. Well, there goes my first death. Now the video is going to be just a little bit longer because the game just would not let me win. <sighs> I'll be right back. Alright, at the second phase of the fight again. Uh, so, apparently when he does that one fireball attack, not the one that he just did, but the other one where it just fires straight at you, it's random, and it can happen during the first phase of the fight too, so uh, be careful when he does do it. And I have the defense spell, uh, oop, sorry, wrong button. There we go. This ought to do the trick. Uh, I don't know if it makes my attack stronger, but, but it does help, uh, in a pinch, I would think. But I do try to get out of the way when he does do the straight-on fireball attack. And again, also got to watch out for those damn shockwave attacks that he does. I think pretty much every dragon boss that I fight in the game will that you fight in the game will do that in some way or another. The shockwave attack, I mean. Good thing I learned how to run. Gotta go ahead and equip this very quickly. Oh. oh, come on. I almost got him. Ouch. Oh, and Titan has met his end. Or not. Oh, come on. I hate when bosses do that. Like that tiny little sliver of health that just somehow didn't count. Alright. This time, the end of chapter one is here. And that's actually two dragons that Clovis has killed. Elena, I've avenged you. But what should I do now? I have nothing left. Nothing at all. And I believe uh, this is the first route of the storyline. <clears throat> the Raxus Knights were free to defeat the Azale Knights once Clovis rescued Princess Celia and the dragon protecting them was gone. The loss of the king, queen, and prince of Raxus necessitated a rule by provisional parliament for several years. Clovis, uh, sorry, Clovis was coerced into becoming Princess Celia's personal bodyguard, but in time married her and became the king of Raxus. His life, together with Celia, soothed his wounded heart, and in time a prince was born. His name was Arlen. That is the name of the character that we play as in the next chapter. Oh, and from now on, this is going to appear at the end of every chapter in the game. Starting with chapter one. So, the family tree of Dragon Valor. King Clovis of Raxus. A legendary dragon valor who slew the dragon and the Azale knights that once infested Raxus. Though self-taught, his skills were undeniable. Queen Celia of Raxus, rescued by Clovis from the Azale knights. She was an intellectual with no interest in swordsmanship or magic. Prince Arlen of Raxus, only child of King Clovis and Queen Celia of Raxus. A peaceful kingdom is his inheritance but his father's blood in him yearns for action. And this is where we save before moving on to chapter two. So let's go ahead and save the game. 
And I could go a little bit longer, but I think we're just going to go ahead and go into Chapter 2 fresh next week. So next week we will start Chapter 2 of Let's Play Dragon Valor as Arlen, Clovis' son. So yeah, uh, with all that said, thanks for watching, and again, stay tuned next week for the beginning of Chapter 2 of Let's Play Dragon Valor. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys later. See you guys then. <laughs>